So like so oftentimes happens, Mama, this ha started out as a happy accident. Um, but I discovered that if you take a strip and double it over not evenly, because yeah. you want to have some hanging, and you just tie a basic knot in it, to start with here, and make it moderately tight. You know, you're going to need to be able to get a needle through. And then what you do is you keep tying, I think this is called a half hitch knot, a series of these in the same direction until this strip is almost run out and obviously you know for yeah because it's really a very similar um, these are different ones I'm going to use for my blue rug yeah. So, you know, obviously for an oval start, you'd go much longer than this. Right. But this is about as long as this will go. So, you have something like that to start with. And then you take your next Yeah, you're getting it there. Yeah. Hmm. See, it couldn't be easier. So it gives you the tightness of a braid, but it's as easy as a chain stitch. So it's the best of both, really. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> you just came across this. Yeah, actually, the way I discovered it was, um, you know, for gifts, I make people pot holders, uh, trivets. Yes. And I discovered hot pads. Hot pads. And what I would do is, for the loop to hang them with, I would make an extra large final loop and then tie it off. Yeah. And then I just kept tying it backwards from the end of the loop back towards the advancing row. And this is what I came up with. And I discovered, hey, you know, that looks like our row, doesn't it? So then you just take this? Yeah, yeah, let me start, and start the video and I'll show you. What happens next? So now that we have our basic start here, you know, you do it. Start it through the end of the needle. You've got your, you create your thumb loop actually by slaying it through that slit. Oh, you got a slit? Where yeah, on, on the two ends, just like you would oh, yeah. normally. Okay. And then it's just like starting any other rug. So, you know, you put it through the first one, twist it over, push it through. I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera to see if it's getting a good shot. And so now you've got essentially a half stitch. But if we go through the same base or bottom loop once more. Yeah, which you always do on a start. So base loop. Twist. Twist. And So now, you see, we've got our base loop, the middle loop that we ignore, the top loop, and the thumb loop. Yeah. And what? Um, let's see, according to the camera, it took me a minute, 15 seconds to go from, you know, and it probably takes 30 seconds to do that basic knotting. Right. You know, and then you'll just go on and connect your next... Yeah, just normally. Yeah, you know, since, since this is a blue rug, I'll, it's going to be a sequence random sequence, I hope, so it's not something I have to think too much about of yeah. different blues. Our basic, I think that's a square knot, what we do to join them, Mama. I think so. You know, we just know how to make the rugs. We don't know yeah. the terminology <laughs> so well. So here we go with our bottom. There's your top. Top loop. Twist the thumb. Pull it through. Ignore the dog. <laughs> yes. And obviously on this we'll have to do a repeat or a double. Yeah, I do double it. In the a lot on the beginning. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going through the same. I know you know this, but people have been asking me to do videos more explicit. Oh, okay. So we're going to do the same bottom loop, top loop, twist it. I don't, I wonder if I can learn from a <coughs> watching a video. I don't know. Yeah, some people can, some people. I think what's probably best for is people who have maybe done and it once or twice or, or done a similar craft. Yeah, it, it's a crochet. Well, similar it's to similar to crochet, and it's also <laughs> similar to sailor's knotting, I found out. Yeah, a lot of that um, macrame stuff started so, from sailor's mm -hmm. practical needs. So here we go. See, isn't that, like I said, it's as, as easy as a chain stitch, but yeah. it gives you a more firm initial start right like a braid yeah. so you know most of the things I discover I discover by accident <laughs> you know what what will happen if I try this yeah yeah so I like those colors yeah that'll be a fun ride won't it mm -hmm. yeah I should probably go And in this video, we're going to pretend that we're both learning how to make rugs and watching a golf match because my wife is a few feet away and her migraine is very, very bad. So in the previous two segments, you saw me do the initial knotting and the first row along the knot. Now, of course, comes the part that's always so much fun, going around the corner and coming along the next edge. Now here we've already done a triple, what we've gone through the same base or bottom loop twice. But because this is a corner, so then we're going to do a triple. So again, we're going through the same bottom loop, skipping this middle loop, going through the top loop. Twisting. Pulling through, keeping the thumb on top of the needle. So that as I pull through here, hey, ducks. As I pull through here, we have our new thumb loop. Now it's still pretty stretched out, but we're going to go ahead on to the next bottom or base loop. So base loop to top loop. Twist the thumb loop over, pull it through. And again, we're going to triple. So now the second bottom loop, top loop, Twist. Now again, same bottom loop, new top loop, and twist. And I think we'll probably need to do one more triple. Now, on this new advancing row here, you'll see that the loops are a bit flatter, but you still just go through the next advancing bottom loop, top loop, and put the, twist the top loop over, and move along. Now at this point, we need to join another strip, so we'll break the video here.